<laughs> Stinky. Whoa. Oh, look at those my glasses. Well, as you can tell, guys, Carol and I are in Yellowstone. Sorry about the wind. And uh, we're trying to make our way down to Old Faithful. Our number one goal of this beautiful park, Yellowstone. Fountain paint pots. Just finished seeing some buffalo. You can see the bubbling ooze. So I'll just get you caught up to speed. Carol and I slept at uh, Camp Walmart last night in uh, Butte, uh, Montana. So we drove down from Crow's Nest Pass all the way down. We got to Butte, slept at the Walmart, uh, got up this morning and uh, started driving. And then we stopped in Idaho. Sure. First time in Idaho. Yesterday was the first time in Montana. So. We bought magnets and then we put them on the fridge. I think we didn't get a Montana one. We, didn't th we thought we were going to wear Montana again, so we'll probably try and find one now. Okay. So, uh, so Idaho, we stopped at a gas station, made our lunch, went in, bought a couple snacks and things and another magnet. And uh, now we're here in Yellowstone and this is beautiful. This is amazing. Yeah. The geyser goes off, old faithful, goes off at three, I can't. Five to four. It goes off at five to four, so we have a half an hour to get there. These are a little more colorful than the last ones. This one's red. Oh boy, this guy's angry. Imagine finding, being one of the first people on the planet to find this place and go, wow. saying, what is going on there, dude? It started pouring and everybody left. There's <laughs> a mad dash for the uh, parking lot because nobody had their rain jackets on. Offspring. This one's called Earthquakes Offspring Red Spouter. As you can tell why, he's angry. We've got another one over here. This is this called Leather Pool. Oh, Leather Pool. Don't know why, but... Uh, did you see anything about exactly how hot this water is? Mm. I wonder if anybody's ever tried to swim in it. Well, it says on the sign back there, boiling water. Boiling water. And right. Because it could be methane coming up or it could be heat. So, you don't know if the water's... Oh, pretty flowers. Yeah. Yeah. Very nice. Didn't think I'd be doing this today. Oh. We just thought we'd come down. What was that? This is called Fountain Geyser. Fountain Geyser. We noticed uh, on the way down from that other area, there's, um, uh, where is it? Over here, there's buffalo uh, feces. So that would be so cool to be up here when the buffalo are hanging out. Jet Geyser. That's what this guy's named. That is a coyote. Wow. Right there is a coyote. At first I'm like, that looks like an alligator, but no. They don't have alligators here. But he got stuck here and something killed him. Not sure what would have done that. Probably the steam or the gas. I don't know. Hope not the gas because we're breathing this stuff in too. Look at the coloring over there. Oh it's, yeah. Ooh, there's one spout in there. And that was the fountain paint pot. Definitely recommend that guys. Definitely recommend that. That's back to the van and dry off. So this isn't very exciting because <laughs> we have to wait an hour and a half now because we missed it. Well, maybe. 
We missed it by about five, ten minutes, I think, because everybody was booking it out that way when we were trying to book it this way. So at least we got good seating because everybody's gone. I think Carol and I are going to take turns, save our spot, because that's the guys who are right there. She's going to blow. Visitor center while we're waiting. Gonna learn some stuff about thermal jets, water explosions. Mud pots. Here's an interactive one. Number one and number two. Number three. And number four. Boy, it's getting crazier. Number five, where to go? Number six. Number eight. It'd be great to see something that big. Next option. 5.30 p.m. Let's buy stuff. Got your hats. T-shirts. Pictures. I saw a bunch of these guys on the way here. Very pretty. And of course, gotta get a magnet for our fridge. New magnet. That's cool, eh? And my card actually worked this time. This is the Old Faithful Inn. And it is absolutely beautiful. Look at that clock on that huge fireplace. And it goes up about 50, maybe 75 feet up. I guess that could even be 100 feet. I don't know. But they have all these balconies, all these people lounging. And of course, they got stuff you can buy here, snack shop, ice cream, and uh, you want to go up, check it out. Wow, beautiful restaurant. Approximately 15 minutes to go. Saw some boiling and sputtering.
So they predicted 5.30, but it went off about two minutes ago. Just to give you an idea, if you ever come here. Um, it's actually very old. It's probably around 800 to 1,000 years old by the time it actually gets found there and erupts. This main chamber is only about 200 feet to the left of Old Faithful, and that's what holds all this boiling water down here. Second thing is going to be heat. This water down here is superheated, actually 400 to 700 degrees Fahrenheit, still 203 degrees when it hits the cone and about 198 erupting. So water and heat, the third one is pressure. The pressure system builds up as the water increases, but the difference between a geyser and a hot spring is if water, heat, and pressure just make a hot spring. For a geyser, what we have is a constriction system. So 20 feet down, we have our smallest constriction, section only four and one eighth inch to the sides of our fist. That constriction system is what caused that pressure to overwhelm and cause a geyser. So in the 90s, they were able to get special permission, a research team to put a camera down here. So that's how we got all this information. Super duper cool. So this main chamber is only about 200 feet to the left. Old Faithful is a closed system. So that's why it erupts about every 98 minutes, except what we just had, which was a short, which basically means it erupted for under three minutes. So our next one will be in an, actually an hour, 6.31 PM. They got super lucky though, when they were building the inn, because one of the chambers actually lies under the inn but because it's a historic building we're not going to tear it down hasn't caused any problems thus far which is actually a miracle because a lot of other buildings they built on thermal areas have been torn down at this point well that's basically the gist of how old faithful works super duper neat uh that eruption is anywhere from 130 to 170 feet tall yes sir why doesn't the constriction get eroded wider get eroded wider that's actually a really good question uh because all this water is built with a bunch of different minerals the silica so actually the constriction would be getting smaller if we weren't the second most earthquake prone area after california because we get about 3,000 earthquakes a year that's actually what keeps this constriction open so every time it erupts it deposits more minerals and silica in this area but the earthquakes keep moving it around to keep it a little bit open yeah super good question you will arrive at your destination Midway Geyser Basin. And we're going to see the Grand Prismatic Spring, which is this guy right here. Lots of color, lots of color.
Good evening. Yes, sir. What's the name? Domic. Dean? Yes. Yeah, it looks like we have you guys stay in one night. Yes. We only show one adult. One Thank you. And you stay get to each night gets you two free showers. So if you take this over to that gentleman over there, he'll when you're ready to shower, I'll cross them out one at a time. Okay, thank you. And let me give you a map. Excellent, that's great. That would help. Give you my bear scare. <laughs> yeah. Fishing Bridge Campground happens to be right in the middle of the most populous bear territory in the park. Okay. So uh, we try to maintain a very clean campsite. Anything that you get out throughout the night, such as trash or, or coolers or whatever it may be, please be sure that everything is stowed back in your camper at night. Okay. If you're going hiking, we strongly encourage you to take bear spray. Got it. If <clears throat> It's hard to hike in groups of three or more when there's only two of you, but if you're going hiking, make noise. Mm -hmm. Got it. So when you check out, there's a box right over here by the entrance where you came in off the road. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just drop your yellow card in there, and got that's it. all you got to do. You don't even have to come in. So you're probably parked in that direction right now. You're just going to come around here, and you're going to go up this road, and you're going to go past everything all the way up the hill. And then 246 is in this group right here. So what this arrow shows is you want to be going that direction when you get to your site. So I would veer to the right. Okay. I would, I would go up here, and you're going to find it on the left-hand side, just beyond 238. And, then, and it's going to be somewhere in there, and it's a pull-through site. Right. we got laundry and showers, no dish washing dishes or bathing in the big tubs. Lots of bear spray. Bears. All right, I think you folks are set. Thank you very much, Ron. You've been you awesome. Are, you are more than welcome. Take care. Showers. Don't lose that. No. Pre tapes are thing help us put it right there. There we go. And it is good to go. Let's go see. Our campsite. So this is uh, a parking lot style campground, as you can see, kind of like Walmart, but in Yellowstone. And we're looking like 246, I believe. So no privacy. That's funny. Like you'd think, out of all the places. You could totally do like fires <laughs> because there's like no trees, nothing to catch fire. Well, except that one. Wow, look at the size of some yeah. of those trees. Crazy long mobile condos. 43, 44, 45, 46. And at least our door is facing the table and we're gonna have power which is gonna be awesome and we can fill up our water jug right there oh we can fill up our water jugs nice look at that truck jeez that's funny let's get up the hydro and eat dinner <laughs> no there's nowhere even to put my flower Oh, yes. oh, we're on the right side, too. This is perfect. We only have to use one cable today. So, again, 30 amp. Yellowstone. 